You know, guys, I've run into a lot of French people over here in Europe. A lot uh -oh. of French people. And guess what? They've been lovely. Every single person has been lovely. Just making me eat a shit, a shit sandwich. So Robbie running into nice French people? Yes. Yeah, I'm here in, um, in London. And man, am I, am I being ma made to eat my words? Uh, no, 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 none mm -hmm. of them listen to the podcast, mm -hmm. so I wasn't taking any, any shit from anybody. It's just that uh, everybody is everybody with a French accent seems to be very nice. But, you know, they I'm were, not were in France. Put, putting your words on a nice baguette. You know, <laughs> but but I'm wondering if to... these are the French people that left France because they couldn't stand the people in France. I'm just, I don't know. I'll have to go to France again to, to find out. But I, the first time, I was not met with a lot of um, welcome. How old were you the first time you were in France? 24 something mm. like that and i was I really 24 year old takes it more personally I, I right? think so, a 24 yeah. year old is like you know a grown man is like you're coming at me with some shit all right bring it you know yeah, that's fair that's fair well anyway the the french here have been wonderful as ha as are the english and uh it's really just a, a a wonderful melting pot this city i love it i love it in london i've only been twice and bo both times i was like doing press stuff so you go into like a hotel room and you you know they bring in like a hundred people and you just answer the same question over and over again oh uh, uh, no i've never had a horrible boss and you know, over and over again. um i think i did it for pacific rim too and it was it was uh fun and exciting to be in london but i wish i'd seen more of the city when i was there well i went to i um, went to a i did enjoy a football it. game at wembley stadium and i can tell you that was an incredible experience and it was really fun up until the game part um <laughs> which was less fun but um uh, your, your buddy jason sudeikis came um oh. Yeah. Oh, how's he doing? He's great. He's here shooting that other show on Apple, T. T. Lizzo, T. Lizzo, T. Lizzo, something like that. Tear me is that what it was? T. 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 Lizzo. Will Ferrell came. He was very sweet, and David Beckham. David Beckham was there, and he was. Did you say Will Ferrell? Will Ferrell was there. He came. He came to watch. Uh, he's the, the best. Best. He's just the best. The fucking the best, best. The best. And he's he's exactly who you would want him to be when you meet him. I know. Or at least my experience has been that. that like, that's just that's right. Lovely and uh, funny. You know who else was lovely was David Beckham, and I kind of thought he might be just based on some documentary footage that I have seen of him and interviews and whatnot. But you never really know until you're talking to him. That's a real nice guy. Nice people over in England. Yeah. We've uh, we've done a 180 on the French. <laughs> well, we're here to talk about Glenn because he's not here. Um, we're here to, but that's what we're really going to talk about. Like, uh, it's messing up our episode. Yeah. It's messing up our flow. Yeah. Somehow, and, uh, Megan, who's apparently in the middle of between Mars and, and Earth, um, mm -hmm. considering her internet, but she was still able to to sign in. And Charlie, you're you're. It's like five forty-five, five. No, oh, it's six o'clock in the morning where you are. Yeah, I was up at five fifteen. Um, my wife has the COVID, mm -hmm. and uh, so does uh, anyone who could possibly help with her kid. But I'm up before everybody, so I'm hoping to jam this out. And then I, you know, got to make school lunches and or a single school lunch, and uh, you know, jump in all that. So, but we so so you made the podcast. And Glenn, sure did, Glenn pal. You know, it. because yeah. that's my dedication to the fans. You know, which which who put us here? Yes. Um, I can't just turn my back on them. I feel the know? same. I mean, I could watch this. <laughs> You're speaking with a low volume. Is that because you don't you want know to wake what? anybody up? I am up? terrified of waking yeah. anyone up in this house yeah. and then being like, "Well, I, it's on me. It's on me to." Uh, um, but but the great thing about my son is that. He won't get out of bed because he knows it's a school day. You know, if it's, it's like a full on teenager, like like a weekend, he would, he would, you know, sure. he'll be up already. But uh, on a school day, it's like, I got to drag him out of bed. God bless. I get it. I get it. Was that how you were, Charlie, when you were growing up? I, I, I certainly didn't love going to school, you know, um, I probably got out of bed maybe a little bit easier, but no, I hated going to school. I mean, it was cold. You had to go outside. It's like freezing, stand out there waiting for the bus. Your hair, your hair would freeze if it was wet. Um, 
Then you got to lug your trombone on the bus. You know how that is, right? You got to get your trombone. You got to sit in the front seat because you got, you know, the fucking bus driver doesn't want you carrying that thing up and down the aisles, banging up, banging up her bus. <laughs> Everyone's fighting and throwing gum and which that, that I like. That was exciting to watch. You know, I wasn't really getting in the melee, but I liked when one broke out. But um, no, no, didn't. Uh, I mean, I love seeing my friends, but the whole school work part. No, 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 no. If, if I could take a pill and know everything I need to know, I would have done it. I mean, everyone would. Yeah, I don't think anybody really remembers enjoying school. My children came here uh, to, to, to watch the game and then they just flew back today and they were real bummed. But mostly they're bummed about having to go to school tomorrow, which is going to yeah. be tough. Yeah. But you know what? Get over it, kids. I that's, didn't go to Europe the for the first the time until I was 25, like I just said. And I had to pay for it my goddamn self, kids. Get up and go to work, go to school. Suck it up. These ungrateful so kids. so ungrateful. Uh, speaking of, of ungrateful, because Glenn's not here, um, mm -hmm. we're going to need to... We're going to do a, a best of the podcast, which I think is is brilliant to do a best of only... Th How many episodes have we done, Meg? 30-something? 30 33. We've done 33 episodes 33. of this podcast. You know who you know who was number 33, Charlie? No. Larry Bird. And was Larry he really? Bird was number 33 and he and and his first season, he he won I believe he won rookie of the year his 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 first season and and I believe that you could have show, showed a, a a string of highlights from his first season 33 games into the season and it would have been very very impressive. And I think that's what we're going to do here. They grow them different in French Lick, Indiana. That's right. Indiana. We can't stop talking about French, the French. Lick. What a name. Yeah. French Lick. French Lick, Indiana. Who's coming up with that? How are they coming up with that name? It's like, well, I like the word French, <laughs> but what if we added a lick to it? Well, what if, you know? what if, like, what if it's somebody that came back and they're like, the French suck? They suck, but we can't we can't call a town. Let's call this town French suck. And someone else was like, nah, they'll, they'll be on to us. What if we keep it like, you know what else they do? They lick. But what, you know, you know, like, like what if like, you know, you know what it's like? Uh, you're at a restaurant and a Frenchman just walks up, just kind of like licks back <laughs> your neck and says, OK, now what what would you like to eat? Uh, yeah. You know, he, he walk up on you. He says, uh, hello, monsieur. And then he, li he come on licking up on your neck. <laughs> And let's call it French Lick. <laughs> you got into like a Louisiana Bayou there <laughs> thing at the end. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I went through like nine accents. It's really... I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Well, yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a best of episode of the podcast here, where we're gonna find highlights from all of your favorite moments from the last thirty three episodes. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's so easy. Not right. What else can we break? And then sort of like uh, Jesus on a cross look. All right, now we're doing McElhenney's wingspan. Oh! 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 Colonels from the shitter! Mr. Spielberg. Steven. Steven. That no, no. <laughs> drink a sip of water. Oh! I'm feeling a lot of love. Cut that, 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 cut that. We say cut that, cut that, cut that. You never cut it. You don't ever cut it. And then when we come back, we're going to be talking about the gang gets whacked. Part one and part two, which I can't wait to talk about. But first, let's talk about the things we've already talked about. No, which okay. Beatle would you yeah. do you think you are? Then, if... definitely Paul. Yeah. Okay. Well, who? Which which kink are you? Jerry Garcia. Yeah. See there. Oh, yeah. Let's see, that's the problem with the kinks. Oof. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Then which Bob Weir. If you're Paul, which Beatle am I? Which Beatle do you think I am? I, I think you're a little bit of Paul. I think you're Paul too. Mm. I think you're Paul. Mm. If you guys call me Ringo, I swear to fucking <laughs> no. God. I swear no, to God. No, I think no, we no, all George have a, Harrison. Yeah, George was. Mm, maybe John. I mean, you're definitely Harrison. Like, you know, like. Uh, he's not, he's, you're, yeah. you're, he's you're about to call me good. John Lennon. You could. Yeah. He was about to give me John Lennon. Well, in know, terms of the relationship with each other. He was, he was. I know, you got a little John Lennon too. You got a little okay. John Lennon. I, I don't yeah. know. But you got I that don't. George thing where you could st you could go and write an amazing song on your own and then you don't get the credit for that. But then you're like, you can do it, man. Oh, but you thanks, see man. like Paul, Paul is like a maniac, like constantly like pushing things forward and saying, guys, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's but I you. Think, that's me, but I feel like that's you too. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. That's true. 
Yeah, I don't. Okay, I don't so really. we're we're all a little bit of Paul McCartney, a yeah, little, little bit, bit of John Lennon, bit. Some, some George Harrison, yeah. and nobody's Ringo. Ringo's Ringo's fucking great, by the way. No, is he? yeah, we're all three egomaniacs, right? right? Who think we're the we're the Beatles? <laughs> we're the Beatles. Oh, wow. So you guys have uh, both have kicking indoors stories. I don't I don't have any kicking indoors. That's probably I good. That's I've probably never had good. Never door. It always sounded fun to me, though. It's one of those things like God, that that sounds, you know, there's like a handful of things that always sounded kind of interesting to me that I always wanted to test the theory of like when I was a kid, I was always like, yeah, you know, like kicking a door down. Like what? How Why don't hard we do this? Why don't we in our new studio, we just commit to whatever the cost is to repair a door. Mm -hmm. OK, and then we just give you your dream, buddy. This is Hollywood. You know, like you can do whatever you want. All right, let's um, kick a door in. Let's yeah, do it. Let's, okay. let's get to, let's get to work here. Check my angles, guys. Check my angles. Make sure we got. I've got a camera inside as well to get the oh, inside. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and so then, then we got a, a wide there. So you're gonna kick it in, but w what's the story? Like, take us through, because like, let's take us take us to a place. Mm. How are right? You, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm, I'm excited. It's a little close. Put the camera a little, a little, a little close. Okay. Yeah. Oh, same. You did it again. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm not that warmed up. I do want to say. Tell it to the folks at home. Yeah. Uh, folks, I, I do want to make this very clear, um, that I never, uh, took martial arts in my entire life. Okay. What? Really? Yep. So that. <laughs> so what you're about to see is happening in real time. So you're not even a ninja, and you think, you think you're going to be able to kick this door in? Uh, ninjas don't kick in doors, f for the record. I, they I, sneak in windows. They're sneakier than that. They're much sneakier than that. Okay, this is more of a sort of a SWAT team type situation. Yes, but I, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And can I ask okay. a question? Yeah. Is it more fun if it's Glenn kicking in the door, or do you want to play one of those characters from the 80s? Meaning you have a story. Oh, yeah. And there's somebody or something in that door that you need to get to because you want to say something cool. After you kick it in, you want to come into the door, into your camera in there and announce something. That's right. Who we're, are you looking we're, for? We're Where's the girl? We're letting you relive your dream here for like, um, what, yeah, what's the, what's the line? What's the narrative, you know? Where's the girl? Something like that. <laughs> that, could, that could be the villain or the hero. I don't know. How do you get your kicks? <laughs> something, you know what I mean? Nice. Oh, you want it to be like a one-liner. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go is yeah. just a great one. Boom. Let's go. Because well, I think also like commit to it. Right. So if it doesn't work once, don't stop. Like keep going until it opens. And you might if you wind up putting a hole like through the door, yeah. you might have to bash through it like the uh, the, the high C guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> the high C uh -huh. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Kool-Aid man. The Kool-Aid Kool guy. Kool Sorry, Kool the Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you should say. That's the fucking line. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the line. Oh, yeah. Here okay. it comes. All right. It's someone else's line. All right. Ready, everybody? Yeah, here we go. Glenn's lined up. He's lined up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It was so easy. Now, you, you, you damaged the door. Well, of course. But. Yeah. Come check this out. Uh, I mean. Let's grab the camera here. You went straight into the drywall. So, let me get the get a shot here into the drywall we more made to, more a, stuff to fix a hole so <laughs> oh my God, how do you feel right now glenn how do you feel uh an exhilaration that i haven't felt uh in in quite some time uh, an exhilaration <laughs> i haven't felt in quite some time uh, <sighs> mike was too close yeah okay <laughs> how does your foot feel what else can we break? Can you tell me what's in that coffee? Is it just coffee? Is it what kind of special? Is there like an egg cracked in there? Do you have hot pepper? Is it <laughs> brewed in? What, why, why do you ask that? Because I don't know. You just have hot pepper, pepper yeah. and an egg in your know. coffee. <laughs> is that is that a crazy thing to ask? Now hold on a second. No, there was it's a not. Moment it's not a crazy thing to ask. This motherfucker right. was drinking coffee mm. that also had egg in it. No. What? Are you talking what? About? <laughs> coffee and egg? Hold on a second. What was <laughs> the bu coffee what was the and bullet egg? coffee? What was the bullet coffee? That's butter. It's like a butter. Explain yourself. It's a butter. Okay. Well, grandfather, bullet coffee, which is otherwise known as and actually known as bulletproof coffee. Uh, is uh, is coffee and butter and MCT oil 
uh, and sometimes coconut oil. There's different ways to make it, but the main thing that bulletproof coffee is, by the way, that's not pepper, okay? And that might sound strange, but like, by the way, I, I never really, I did the bulletproof coffee thing for like five seconds. It just absolutely right. destroyed my stomach. Yes, I'm not. I hated yeah, it. I, 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 the well, reason, reason I was asking was because it's not that crazy to assume that to go from well, butter no. to an egg, I don't know. No, you know what? I, I have well, uh, coffee with my eggs all the time. I've never thought to like stir the eggs tr straight into the coffee. <laughs> Maybe but, I'm missing but out. I could be missing out. I mean, that's a very common thing. Has... Get some eggs, have a cup of coffee. That's that's. I'm normal. down to try it. I'm down to try to like you know egg Especially coffee like a... or coffee egg. Oh, I bet. Oh, how how about this? How about this? Like you did egg some coffee. some cold coffee, right? Cold brew coffee. Mm -hmm. Put it in a blender with some ice. Um, couple crack a couple eggs in there. Maybe put some butter in there, okay. right? And a little bit of honey, maybe to sweet. Well, no, you can't do that. No, the maybe, egg yeah. coffee would be good for you. A coffee egg would be a coffee that's been hard boiled. Uh, an egg that's been hard boiled in, in a pot of coffee. That would be. Oh a, that my would be a, god! That would be a coffee egg. But I would try. I would egg that. coffee. Yeah. Like in a percolator, right? Where, where, yeah. where you're actually boiling. Let's the water. make both of those and then see which ones. There's, that's which a thing. Though, a tea egg no, is the, a thing. But wait, wait, no, cook actually, it in tea. but the the, mm. the the coffee's not going to penetrate the shell of the egg and actually affect oh, the flavor. So what's yes, the it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's so, so sure of it. Such. So, I mean, you were so clear and so, so sure that that. Oh <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> it most <laughs> certainly will. Yeah, you know, it's like you work for the so How's it going to penetrate the shell of the egg? I, by the way, I love your passion for this. I really do. <laughs> I have the no idea. Certainty. The yeah, yeah. certainty. <laughs> there, there it really is. I have no idea. Because <laughs> I've had a tea egg before. I've had a tea egg, which was an egg that You're was kidding. boiled in tea, and it was delicious. It tasted, it tasted like, like tea. tea? Yeah. Very good. Oh, you're blowing my mind. I've never heard of that. A tea egg? Yes. yes. What is this? It's a, it's, a, it's from the other cultures, man. Who's, who, who's, what culture? Japan. Oh. And Chinese. Chinese. Uh, Chinese. Okay. <laughs> I don't really. I don't know. Chinese tea eggs. Yes. Chinese tea eggs. And then my do God. they? Will you find if they? in a savory liquid with star anise. Well, that's why you sticks and peppercorns. <laughs> star anise. But uh, do they peel the egg before they boil it? That's what we need to know. No, you can't peel it before you, you peel boil it. Before, before you boil, you boil. <laughs> <laughs> If you peel an egg before you boil Wait. it. <laughs> what was I saying? Do they, do they boil it and then like soak it in the tea or something? Like <laughs> after, at, right, at, crack it open, crack open the boiled Charlie egg and soak it in tea. absolutely should have Charlie Kelly try to peel an unboiled yes. egg. Yes. Next season. And he can't figure it out. He's yeah. frustrated. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He wants to make, yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. Coffee egg. Coffee egg. Uh, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that's going to be gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I think that's going to be unpleasant. Well, I have <laughs> something to leave you guys, even though I'm not dead, but I have a special treat for you today. You do? Which okay. is, I Again. this morning, I hard-boiled these eggs in coffee. No oh, fucking way. Oh, no to way. To see whether uh, it would get through. So if you guys want to peel these eggs and yeah. then taste them, yeah. Yeah. you Let's can do it. see... Yeah, Let's do it. You, you didn't peel it before you boiled it. I did, I did not peel. Okay, it Okay, so you I just it. you just boiled. Uh, you just. I, I made a pot of coffee, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. I put the eggs into the coffee with no yeah. extra water, just the coffee, uh -huh. and then I boiled them as I uh, standardly see, do hard boiled eggs. We we would wait. Do you have salt? There's no yeah. there's no brown coloration in here though. Like with the tea, the, say, the, the, tea the shells egg, still off, smell. Like, oh. They still smell like <laughs> eggs. See, here's That's what I, I think the tea egg, the thing with the tea egg, and I don't know, I'll have to I look I can never peel these well. well Do you guys suck at peeling? I suck at yeah. peeling hard. You gotta use the leg. side of your thumb. These are tough. The side. These are tough. Yeah. They're, they're oh, shattering the into a billion pieces. Um, yeah, I'm not good at this. I'm not any good. I would say that I think maybe, let's look up how the tea egg is cooked, but I think what I meant to say when I, when I, I, I asked I, if you I did uh, look that up, and actually they soak it in tea after they hard yeah, boil after it. after they boil it. So you know, oh, so, oh, oh, so oh, this oh. is going to be nothing this probably. This is not going to taste like coffee. This is going to taste like, it smells like an egg. It just tastes like an egg. Yeah. Oh, does it? So yeah, we, well, it can't look, penetrate I like the egg. shell, like right? So, so we got to do it the way they do the tea egg. You got to soak it in coffee. You got to, and this is what I meant when I said you peel it first. You got to boil it, peel it. Mm -hmm. And then soak it in some coffee. Then soak it. But definitely boil it first before mm. you peel it. Mm. Well, Megan, thank That's you either way. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome. My mm. husband was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm working. <laughs> I'm working here. <laughs> hey guys, wait, wait. For those freaks out there, let's do a little ASMR. Why? Uh, oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. No, you know, 
that you, actually you does have. not bother me. That doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother you. Wait, let me let me do it. Let me see if I can. Do it, it won't bother me if you're doing it on purpose. Really? Uh, really? Right. That's what we established. Chewing it's, sounds don't bother it's me. It's not the sound. <laughs> see, it's, honest, it's that. It's that people don't give a shit. Yes. Yes. It's, it's the it's the chaos. The first right. question is: What makes Glenn the most angry? <laughs> Uh, just in general? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. I got it. I know. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, Charlie's I'm, I'm ready to rock. How, how, you see, that's amazing. How, how, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much, but... Uh, but you went for... You my, just went for one. Charlie, show us your answer. Okay. I wrote... Uh, chewing loud. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, chewing loud. Okay. Uh, chewing, chewing loud. <laughs> loud so, chewers, you know? Smacky foods. The difficult thing, I think, about this is that so many things make me angry. So I wrote down uh, a, a sort of a broader category, which would encompass what you wrote, Charlie. Can I have a one second guess? I won't write it, but just, just to say. Yes, really. Did you write the word life? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I know what you did. I think I know what you did. I think I know what you did. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. You wrote you wrote peep is uh, having to do with people not giving a shit. The, there's an injustice cool. about oh, people not caring. That's a big one. That's you're, a you're, big you're, one. You are you 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 didn't say it the way I said it, but I think what you're saying is what I is I think what you mean is what I meant when I wrote what I wrote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what'd you write? People's it, lack oh. of awareness. So this bothers you. Yes, it does. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it on purpose uh -huh. yeah. to try and bother. There's a lot of people out there right now that are fucking really grossed out. Somebody. And then there's some people that are getting erections. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Is that what it is? is I don't know. Like, are women in, into this, Meg? No. Are they getting turned on? No. No. It's only men. men oh, you needs. speak for all women, Meg? Yes, right? I do. No, Meg speaks for all women. It's a good <laughs> egg, Meg. Thank you. Yeah, That's no a good problem. egg. It's a uh, good coffee good egg. egg in these trying so times. So it turns out you can boil your egg in coffee or water in it, and it won't penetrate the shell. Boil it in whatever whatever you're already boiling. Just go ahead and throw an egg in there. <laughs> it won't make a difference. <laughs> That's basically what we're saying. Well, guys, this has been great. Uh, uh, the episode has been brought to you by Egg. <laughs> egg. It's just fine. For your trying times. Mm -hmm. Guys, we know... It's your favorite part of the podcast where we hawk products to pay Megan's rent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Rob, what is going on with, with Megan's rent this week? I'll tell you week. what's do, going do on know? this week. She spent a little too much money on champagne in the UK, and now she can't Ooh. afford her rent. Mm -hmm. Sounds like champagne problems to me, yes. right? Well, yeah, you, you should have put together more of a travel fund there, Meg. Fortunately, we've got you covered mm -hmm. with our partners at Viore, the most comfortable exercise and lounge apparel this side of the gym. Or the couch. Yeah, okay. So what you're talking about here is called athleisure. It's the art of looking like you're working out even when you're not, which is extremely important for fooling people that you're more physically active than you are. And Viore is definitely the brand to do that because not only do they look great, they are full on more comfortable than whatever you're lounging around in right now. I mean, more comfort. Who doesn't want that? Let's just say you actually did work out. Good for you. Stop bragging about mm -hmm. it. Whatever. Yeah, well, Rob, you'd be in luck there, too, because you can run in your Viore core shorts. Uh, you can train in them. You can do yoga. You can even swim. You can swim in these shorts, man. Okay, so when there's a there's a good chance that my day will involve both water and air, and I need transition mm -hmm. shorts, this is the first pair mm -hmm. I reach for. And Viore is offsetting 100% of both their carbon and plastic footprint. Did you hear that? No footprints. Zero footprints. <laughs> Zero footprints, I like that. It's like an eagle that never stops soaring high above the ground. That's Viore. Okay, so look, Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they are offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and mm. versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash sunnypod. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash sunnypod. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. Go to viore.com slash sunnypod and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Do you think like Steven that would be Spielberg crazy. feels that one if he sees Jaws where he's like, ah, this doesn't, oh, really, this Jaws doesn't is, represent Jaws me. Jaws is good though. Yeah, but he doesn't. He probably <laughs> sees. Really he just good. sees all. He's, he's probably got some clunky scenes that he looks at and is like, oh, I wouldn't stage that one that way anymore or something. Let's ask Spielberg. Do you still, Mr. Spielberg? Steven. Steven, 
How do you feel about the first Jaws movie? Oh, I think it's pretty good. I'm a big fan. I mean, I still like it. I mean, I mean you know, I, 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 I don't love everything about it, but there's some things that I think still work. And I, I, I do regret that the, the shark didn't look better because I still think the movie would have been better if the shark, if we'd been able to see the shark more. But that turned out to be a good thing according to some people. I don't know. I, I stand by it. I stand by it. <laughs> I don't know. Is that uh, bad, that, Steven Spielberg? In what, are, what are you talking? <laughs> well, let's have Steven. Steven, how is your impression of yourself? Is it good or is it bad? I don't think I sound like that. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, man, um, thank you. Thank you. That was, yeah. Uh, Steven Spielberg. Wow. Yeah. I had good. What a get. When I was a kid, we would go to the beach and and there was no sunblock. My mother used to spray us with vinegar. Yeah, to get to, to get you dark. Yeah, well, it was to keep or away the fly. That, that, yeah, that is the funniest thing. Picturing these to like what? McElhenney kids just reeking of vinegar. Yeah, Imagine yeah. like you coming over to a kid like, hey, will you, will you guys want to play uh, frisbee or something? And they're like, oh, God. Jesus what is that Christ. smell? Yeah. My eyes are watering trying to talk to this oh, kid. shit, man. How much yeah. fish and chips did you have? What the fuck are you? Like, this guy smells like a fucking salad. <laughs> what is this dude's Crazy, deal? crazy. Crazy. Even worse than and that. By the like, way, the second you go in the water, that vinegar is off. <laughs> yeah, oh no, but when you came out, she had more of it. She just whacked, she whacked Watch you out down. Her mom. She's got the vinegar. <laughs> She's and, gonna uh, blast me. All, and I even look at now I ask her, like, why why was I sprayed down with vinegar? It's and I'm like, do you huh? think that it helped like engage the sun in some way? And she was like, uh it's un by the way, it's it's still unclear hundred uh, percent. She's like, like honey, I was loaded. I'm yeah, yeah, so she sorry. was oh, oh, 100%. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that no doubt. We would yeah. go down there with her and her sisters and her friends. Yeah, and why they, vinegar? They would play Parcheesi. What the fuck no, what is that? She, because what she in like... Jersey they had these like horse flies that would <clears throat> bite you. Oh yeah. yeah. And I think the, the, it was like they to keep like the, the they don't like the vinegar so it keeps the, f the flies away from you and then but no <laughs> no it's no sunblock kids covered in vinegar and flies <laughs> you know, those kids are from Philly yeah yeah they're like a squeak like vinegar they always got flies around <laughs> and we, we, she also loved for some reason she loved the look of those like of like those like swimmer like like in the European oh, look no. like they look like underwear they right put those on well, okay yes yes oh, dude. like a swimmer like a swimmer God, she you. loved that look <laughs> right and we were too young but I was old enough I was probably like nine oh, God. you know nine you knew or it wasn't eight good. or nine or ten yeah, yeah. and she was like you just look so cute in these and meanwhile like you know maybe at like six you don't care but by the time you hit like ten you're like yeah. my dick is tiny. <laughs> And it looks so bad. Yeah, it looks and so I, much smaller. In yeah, this. like I. Yeah, and so now I'm where I'm. <laughs> God only knows how it's reacting to the vinegar too. You know, yeah, just right. Shrivels and shrivels right up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like a Can like I get a slug. some balsamic on like it a or slug. something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that is so well, weird. I've never oh, heard of yeah. that. Like, I, I mean, I grew up I, in the South with a lot I of horse nothing flies. Nothing but good memories, though. Like I just, I remember right. it, it sure, being you didn't care. really fun. No, I did. I did remember caring once, like ten or eleven. I remember there being like a group of kids and me always like having my hands over my dick, and then like my cousin being like, "Look, man, there's no hiding. <laughs> there's no right. hiding. You got to get a new suit. You got just got to get a new suit." And I was like, all right. I then, so 11 years old, you were still wearing like the European. Uh, maybe 10. Yeah. Like I, I'll, I'll get some, I'll get some photos because we have some photos. I look happy in the photos. I do really enjoy I when bad. I see, uh, <laughs> it's always like an, a, an older gentleman. It's always a man like, you know, well into his sixties or above, you know, and those guys are just like, I don't give a fuck. This yeah. is what I like. Yeah, yeah. This is what I want to wear. This yeah. is what I like. This is what makes me comfortable. And I don't care how it makes you feel. Well, and I'll it, tell you what, I was tan as shit. Like for as 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 right. Irish skin that I have, I was like, because we would be out there on the beach every day, covered in vinegar, with no clothing, <laughs> with no clothing on. So I was so tan. The photos you see of me, I'm like, this is crazy. I look so how so the, dark. How does the vinegar affect the sun? Does it does it make you get more sun, or does it actually well, block the sun? I think she, from her point of view, I think it did has no no. It didn't block the sun. I think it was like an oil, it had the same properties as like a baby oil. That's what I'm saying. So it enhanced. The, yeah, I, the, I believe so. Yeah, ah, like she so wanted us tan. Yeah. Right, not it, it just because that was the healthy look. 
You know? Right, right. I want my mm-hmm. my ba- my I want my kids to look healthy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm spray them in vinegar, yeah. get them out uh, there. Yeah, I want this kid you know? to. And if he's covered in horsefly bumps, then yeah. that negates the whole thing. Sure, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll dig I want him to photos. resemble a French fry. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think like I look pretty good if I'm being honest. I mean, my I look like you know like. My dick didn't look great. Uh, yeah. when I, was, I was a little kid. I don't know if you should be looking at a little kid's dick anyway. But like, I think my my body looked all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was tan I guess as so. shit. I, guess I was so. tan. Yeah, I guess so. Um, what I, percentage I, of people are going to try the vinegar thing now? They're like, oh, you were really tan? Let me try the vinegar. I, listen, I grew up in Alabama where we had a, a shitload of horse flies. And nobody ever sprayed me in vinegar. Nobody ever suggested spraying you know me down. It could have been to fuck with us. I don't know. It could have been to be like, look, we got to toughen this kid up. Right. So we got to get him out there and like having kids pick at him so he can, I don't know, get the. So he can spend the rest of his life overcompensating. Yes. It's a bizarre move one way or the other. Yeah. Yes. Just to spray vinegar. yourself in vinegar is very strange. Yep. We, should have my, we should have my mom on the podcast and have her answer for I just it. Be like, I don't remember any of that. Oh, I don't know. You're supposed to get vinegar all over you on it. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, Robbie. You loved it. But as you age, it definitely gets harder. You have- Oh, for f- sure. For men, you have less testosterone. You, Your skin looks- d- So you're never going to look the same as you would in your 20s. Even if you got into the same kind of shape, our skin's all stretched out and shit. I'm getting things hacked off my body every other week from sun Ooh. damage, from the vinegar. Oh, from way the vinegar, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a big old thing days. on my face I got to get cut out. On what? Face? On your face? On my face. I don't see it. Yeah, you can't You can't see it. You'll see it when there's a giant scar there. Oh, shit. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean? Look cool, oh, wait, are you huh? wearing makeup right now? Why can't I see this thing on your face? What's wrong with your face? What the fuck are you talking about? I've already had, you know, have you, have you had things removed from your body? Yeah. Okay, so they remove it, then they biopsy it. Yeah. And so this one I got a biopsy, and it's like some kind of. There is nothing on your face. Cell. Hey, you buddy, can't see it because they cut buddy, it off. You might need to switch dermatologists because okay. this okay. guy might be making a, a killing off you. Just being like, here's a rich guy. I'm just going to keep chopping shit off him. And then yeah, I'm going to chop this guy up. Wow. You might I'm have chopping a, bits. You know what I mean? Because uh, I I went to a guy uh, this is years ago and got some like uh, I had a freckle on my back and I have a big scar now from they cut it off and like twelve stitches whatever. And then I go to a different guy now, and it's like, I never, he's never, he's barely cutting off anything. Mm, you know wow. what I mean? And I feel like the other guy was just knife happy. Well, maybe the maybe the first <laughs> maybe the first one was a good doctor, and this one's killing you. <laughs> well, no, not judging by the office. The second guy's got a better <laughs> better looking office. So. You do wonder how those doctors get into certain specialties, right? You go to med school because very, you know, very few people when they're you know six years old, and all the other kids are like, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a football player, and he's like, I want to shave people's. You know, parts of their skin off and biopsy them. Nobody does that, so they. I want to look at their moles. I want to look at moles. I want to stick my finger up a guy's butt all day long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah nobody, nobody's dream is that yes. when they're a kid. I'm talking about pro- he was demeaning doctors. <laughs> I'm not demeaning. Nobody them. wants to be a doctor. I didn't say Who the that. Fuck, who wants to be a? Doctor? I didn't you say said, that. No, you said no kids want to be a doctor. He said no, no kids I didn't say dreams of being a proctologist. Is, I don't, <laughs> problem. Yeah, you're trying you to You don't listen to the specificity of yeah, what I'm he's saying. I didn't about s- a proctologist. <laughs> where I was talking about about moles. What I was about to say was was a kid does grow up though thinking I want to be a doctor, and then eventually that turns into well, I don't I just I, you know some and some people do just become internists or general practitioners and you know whatever, but then you know somewhere along the way somebody's got to go well i guess i'll be the butt guy you know what i mean i, I guess i'll check out buttholes but like are you already into that shit like are yeah, you going yeah, through yeah, med yeah, school yeah, and you're yeah. like discovering that you're like i i'm kind of fascinated by like what's inside people's butts you know yeah i want to see the yeah. butt itself then i want to go through the butt and see everything i want to see the journey from the butthole through the intestines you know what i mean maybe yeah. and you're, or you look at it and saying like so many men die of so prostate cancer. So, so many you're people just seeing have dollar gold. signs. No, you're thinking that you want to save lives. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a doctor selling out. There's a lot of money in butts. There's a lot of money in saving lives. Not yeah. a lot of people want to do it. Yeah. And I do. <laughs> no, I also I don't want my drink to be my meal. I like a meal. I like oh, a really? drink. But I don't want my drink to be my meal. I would drink every single meal if I could. Really? Every yeah, single you meal. Don't really I want to be chewing and... You know, Chewing's a, a, a massive uh, waste of time and energy. <laughs> you, you want, you want to... I want to mix it with my saliva and swallow it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Well, the way you chew, it is a waste of time, though. I do chew a there's lot. There's a lot you, of chewing. There's a lot of chewing. Lot there's of compartmentalizing chewing. of the food. 
it's true. It gets, I hate the way I eat. It gets chewed and yeah, go yeah. into a lower corner. It sits there for a while or something else is chewed and moved up into the top of your mouth. Then at some point it's twirls it's together. It's a factory. It's an yeah, assembly line. It's an assembly line. It's something I you're, 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 you're separating the egg from the salt in your mouth somehow. <laughs> <laughs> because you've learned what will metabolize faster. That's so right. That's you are totally turning true. food into a liquid I in am. your mouth. I'm liquefying it. You are liquefying <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, they don't okay. just talk to fan, I like fans this on the phone. phone ring sound. Me too. I need that. I love it. Welcome to the Always Sunny Podcast. You're on with Rob, Charlie, and Glenn. Hey, Hello. what's going on over oh there? Oh my God! Yes. Hi, Megan. Oh, hi, oh. Megan. I'm a Megan fan. All right. All right. You spoke directly to Megan. <laughs> Who are we speaking with today? I love Megan. Oh, so do we. Yeah, so do we. Best. Why don't you ask Megan a question? Yeah, because yeah. she she loves to talk, but Megan's she hasn't been able to because we yeah. we just talk over her. You got any? First of all, who are we speaking with today? I'm Daniela. Hey, I'm Daniela. on the shitter. Oh, Daniela! Right. Oh. Calling us from the shitter. Are you on the shitter? Wow. Oh, okay, cool. Are you actually no, taking right a shit? Now. Are you taking a shit or are you peeing? <laughs> No, I'm taking a shit. That's oh, right. this is amazing. That is amazing. Is, now, it, what, is it a good one? Have you been? Are you hydrated, or is it is it coming out runny? Is it and is it a right. mess? Are you gonna have to like, wipe a thousand times, or yeah. is nothing gonna come is out? It, is it and going off? okay? Or how you? It's, 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 it's one of those where you like sit down and then you kind of like get bored and you're just like there. And then I called in and I was like, no oh. way. You're gonna have to <laughs> coax it out. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna have to coax yeah. it out. All right. uh, well, if you need to stop to push or grunt, that's fine. Yeah, it's all well. I'm sorry, and I. I missed the first part. Has any has any been um, exported yet? Mm. Just like little 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 dots. Okay, nuggets. but you're looking <laughs> nuggets. But you're looking for a, a, right. A she's, full, getting, she's getting she's milk getting milk duds. Little dots out. She's getting milk duds, and she yeah, wants a full Snickers bar. I'm most... sensing a hydration problem here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna yeah. suggest nah, that nah, most. Nah, nah, nah. It's just morning. It's just morning. I gotta warm up. All right, all right. Okay, well, this well, is the first one. You're popping the cork. She's popping the cork. Sometimes this happens, right? The first yeah, shit of the day. Yeah, I think y'all ruined it. All right, it. She, oh. she had a question for Megan. Oh, it, no, it, it went into her Did it retreat back It went into hiding. It went into <laughs> hiding. It, hiding. Oh, it, went into it got hiding. scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got right. scared. It went, Your butt whoop. got scared. Now, why is it a morning uh, poop for you? Where are you calling us from? Yeah. Are you in Hawaii? I'm from, I'm, I'm calling from Arizona. Okay, okay. It's okay. 1030, so it's not, it's kind of not late. That's a young person's morning. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. we're we're, yeah. Old, we're old. We're <laughs> yeah. up at seven with the kids. Yeah. yeah. What's your question for Megan? Because Megan, yeah. Megan deserves a question. You can ask her anything and she will tell you. Okay, uh, Megan, um, have you done your bowel movement for the day? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is wild. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I don't bring anything into this room other than enthusiasm for right. these guys. That's so. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. You can't have poop in your body That's into an a podcast. Work ethic. And you guys you. are so lucky to have her. And I, know, yeah, agree, we know, agree. we know, we know. Uh, I, have a, I have a follow-up question, Megan. Which podcast did you call into while you were uh, having a bowel movement? <laughs> yeah, who do you usually call? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, keep it to myself. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Okay. Well, listen, we hope that you can get a, a nice full Snickers bar's worth of poop out. <laughs> yeah. We hope you have a full evacuation. You know what I mean? Uh, a um, complete elimination. Yeah. Thank you guys. Y'all made my day. Y'all, like, and then it's just started. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your bowel movement and thanks for calling the Sunny Podcast. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a good one, you guys. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> There's a guest actor in this episode, and I don't want to name the person because the, this the story I'm going to tell is sort of a personal story. Uh, oh. But it he, it was this actor's first ever audition for anything. Oh yeah, Glenn, yeah. do you remember this story? He he would be, he would be happy to tell he, the story. Yeah, okay. I believe it might be worth oh, oh getting oh. in touch is with this him. Leah's friend. Him. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 All right, we, uh, Rob. You say his name, and then uh, and then we can beep it out or whatever. And then and then if we get permission from him, we'll put it in. Okay, his name's. So, <laughs> Megan, you don't know this story, right? So I guess we'll tell it to you and the listener. <laughs> yes. So the, and then we'll, maybe you tell the story, and then we'll have call in and tell his version of it that maybe we might miss because this is now okay. ten years ago. But it I is know, amazing, yeah. right? 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 And he was very cavalier with yes. the story. Oh, well, yeah. so we had met him. <clears throat> I guess after season one or two, and uh, well, he's friends with our makeup artist yeah, Leah Vitro, and he said that he had his first ever audition for a movie, television, anything, uh, and it was for our show. 
And um, he went, our casting director at the time was a guy named John Papsidera when we started mm-hmm. the show. And he goes to John Papsidera's office and he's as nervous as can be, right? He's never auditioned for anything. And he's got his headshots and he's, he's, yeah. he knows his lines, he's ready to go. And suddenly he has this like rumble in his stomach oh of like, God. you know, and that like taste in your mouth and the sweat of like- Taste in your well, mouth? Well, I don't know, just like the dry the mouth taste maybe. in your mouth? Okay, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, like a dry mouth situation. That your body- Or the watery, the watery. Oh, yeah, your body- That's usually vomit. Oh, that's vomit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's vomit. That's not where okay. this is All right, sorry. Well, this is coming out the other end. <laughs> so he realizes he, he's gonna have diarrhea. Like he's like, there's no way I'm not having diarrhea, and it's, it's vomit of the anus. It's coming r- really bad, <laughs> and, and yeah, it's coming. And, it's, he said, yeah. So he goes to the bathroom, but just before he gets to there, uh, someone, some act, actor, or actress goes in, and they lock the door, and he's he's waiting, he's waiting, and he can h- kind of hear the person in there like rehearsing their lines, and they're like oh, taking oh, forever, Jesus, come on. and he like taps on the door, but they're not coming out, and then he's like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. So he goes in the alleyway behind the casting office <laughs> and he's like a dumpster there and yeah. he he doesn't quite make it. He he has diarrhea in his pants, he pulls oh. his pants down and he's like, oh my God, this is a mess. He, this is a mess. He, he's trying to salvage the situation. He has no toilet paper, so he's wiping his butt with his own headshots. <laughs> <laughs> and the sides. And the side, yeah. Pieces of paper yeah. and photographs he's, of himself. He's wiping his ass with pictures of himself. <laughs> There's never been a greater metaphor for Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean oh just like, God. it's something out of like, uh, you know, like a Ben Stiller Absolutely. comedy. Absolutely. Right. Oh. Straight out of a, yeah. And so, as the story goes, he realizes, <clears throat> I'm done. There's, I, there's no, I can't do the audition. I got to go home. <laughs> And he gets in his car and his pants are so ruined and they're smelling, the car smells so bad that he like takes them off and like, I don't know if he throws them out the window or whatever, but he's driving home with no pants on. And as he's driving home (laughs) with no pants on, he gets rear-ended. Oh my God. (laughs) He gets rear-ended. Now, the rest is kind of hazing for me. Like I remember, there's like a homeless guy who looks in the window and starts yelling like, that dude's got no pants on. And oh. anyway, so we heard the story and then I think we had, a, he auditioned again. He, cause we didn't just like automatically give him a part. We had to make sure he could. I think, yeah, no, he auditioned for this. He, he did, but we we found out about it after he had auditioned. Oh, yeah. that's right. So that's we right. probably would have just given it to yeah, him yeah, anyway yeah, 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 for, yeah. because of that. But then he, Red Fortin was great. And we were like, yes, yeah. you you have earned this role. For the theme of St. Patrick's Day, oh. I wrote you guys some toasts, which we can do with this shot in the style of a limerick. Oh, so you, you wrote these? I wrote these limericks for each Making of you. Dance. But I think that you shouldn't read the one that's about you. You should read one that's about yeah, Megan. This is really good. Megan, you're a I'm delightful going. writer. She's oh, the best. Okay, right, you're right, a right. delightful Who's writer. Who's going first? Who's going first? I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Because I, I, I don't you're trust excited. my ability to continue to speak and, and <laughs> um, yeah, coherently. Let's raise our glasses to Glenn, the best of the five star men. He's the host of this show. Can't stay safe on the snow. And he <laughs> dreams of not chewing again. <laughs> Megan, that's, that's very so good. That's so good. That's very, very good. Yeah, a lot of references and if, to and previous And if someone podcasts. at home doesn't think that it's good, they're fucking idiots. Oh, it's man. very good. Cheers. Cheers. We'll go a little bit for this one. Wait, then we have did, three. I, did I already drink mine? Mm. You said you didn't want it. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Rob, read yours. <clears throat> three cheers for our pal, Charlie Day. Yeah. He's one of a kind, in a way. <laughs> We'd flatter him more. <laughs> But he'll walk out the door and forget every word that we said. Yes! <laughs> Megan, so yes. So good. good. Wait, so good. It's like, God damn, that's good. That Why? Is good. Did I forget something? <laughs> oh, never. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh, that is good. Uh, that is good. Well, Rob, that so. means this one's about you. I guess so. You want to hear it? Yes. What are you anticipating? <laughs> well, out of, out of the three of us, yeah, I'm the one that's closest to Megan. Ooh, so you're anticipating a roast. I think it's gonna be roasty? devastating. Yeah, roasty. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. we have, we're very close, 
So she also yeah. loves you. Yeah. Oh yeah, we love each other very much. It's a love hate relationship, yeah. as it often is yes. with someone. But she does. I'm I'm guessing she doesn't love you. She likes you, but she doesn't know you that well. Not not. I mean, nearly right as now well. I love everybody. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. beauty of the whiskey. But you're keeping her. Because of your so sociopathy, you're keeping her. That's not at sociopathy. Arms, that's not sociopathy. That's not sociopathy. That's growing up in an Air Force family where you moved around a lot and had to protect yourself. God, <laughs> that's a whole thing. Okay, okay. all right. That's you're a whole thing, her. and we yeah. can get into that. But I hold everyone at arm's length. Got it. Okay, and I don't like that about myself. I. It's ingrained. Okay, uh, a toast to our good buddy Rob. He's the reason we all got this job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God yeah, yeah. he made Sonny to prove that he's funny. <laughs> a little his, rose. A big rose. Because his other show makes people sob. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rob, guess who's stepping in to help Megan now? Bud Light Seltzer. We are really excited for summer because the summer comes BBQs and get-togethers and general excuses to be outside day drinking responsibly, and nothing's going to hit the spot quite like Bud Light Seltzer. Now, what is it that sets Bud Light Seltzer apart from uh, the 20 million other seltzers these days? Well, you know. It's probably its taste and its extensive flavor list. Now I want something loud. You know, something uh, practically crying out for attention. I'm, I'm looking for a loudness in my beverage. Mm, well, loud flavors are exactly what Bud Light Seltzer is all about. In fact, the louder, the better. We always say that on Sunny. Just get as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. The louder, you the better. Louder. Yeah. But let's be the judge of that. Let's let's take a look at this list here. Let's 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 take a look at this list. Okay. What do they got? Cherry okay. cola, Bud Light Seltzer, Ooh. hard soda. Cherry cola has the perfect cherry to cola seltzer ratio for indulgent taste without all the sugar. <laughs> Soda, the familiar lemon lime soda flavor you secretly crave with the seltzer stats we know you want. We know you want. I like that Charlie's trying to recreate the sound of being loud because he doesn't want to wake up anybody at his house, but he can't actually be loud. <laughs> but I can. Twisted berry, lemon, cherry, and blueberry combined for the perfect fruit mix. Refreshingly sweet to inspire more fun. We have a new flavor alert here. New flavor alert. Watermelon. Watermelon. A new spin on a fan favorite. Now, this seltzer features a refreshing and sweet taste with uh, a candied watermelon aroma. Mm -mm. Well, um, I wasn't as loud as, as I could have been. Rob. No, but I appreciate um, you. I, I appreciated the transition from, from voice to voice. And you brought a lot of um, flavor. You mm -hmm. made a lot of choices in there. And I, 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 I think I you won. Anyway, to find a retailer who delivers right to your door, head over to BudLight.com to learn more. Bud Light Seltzer, the loudest flavors ever. Enjoy responsibility messaging for 21 plus. Guys, you got to be 21 to drink these and please drink responsibly. Don't drink like a jerk. Rob, did you, go, did you work out this morning? No, I I, I had some some crazy dreams. I was up all night from about 2 to about 4.30 and then oh, I fell boy. back asleep. What were you dreaming I about? I fell back asleep. About it was me. it was it was dark stuff, mm. dark stuff. Not for this podcast. Were you dreaming you had podcast? COVID? No. Did you kill Did you kill anybody? Did you kill me? No, I have a recurring nightmare that's in that space. Not you, mm. uh, but where you kill, I've you murder. Well, uh, yeah, it's happened in the past. Mm. But there's it's, no you're living with it. Is you're that I, I think is that like imposter syndrome? There's a fear of that you're going to lose it all, right? Like mm. if you're going to be arrested, you're going to lose it all. So probably in your life, you know, you've accomplished these things. You have this wonderful family. That's and what you, you did. You you, you murdered your career, and you have this mm -hmm. this great career, and you have this underlying fear. Well, I'm just you know who am I? I'm not a writer. I'm not an actor. I'm just I'm just Rob. So like I'm a big phony, and it could all be taken away from me. I am here as your friend to tell you that that is true. Um, yeah. And it's and time. the sooner you accept that and just let it go and be like, yeah, I'm a big fraud, but so is everyone else. Mm -hmm. Just ask Steven. Steven doesn't know what he's doing. Steven just, each movie is potential disaster. Steven, who just stepped in the room. Yeah, what's up, guys? <clears throat> what, what, what are we talking about, Bean? Well, Rob has imposter syndrome, and I say, don't fight it and say, oh, I'm a great creator. That's bullshit. Be like, yeah, I'm a fraud. So what? So everyone's a fraud. So make it till you make it, baby. Nobody's, nobody is what they are until they do what they do. And then once you do it, then you are what you are, whether you are or aren't. 
you know, basically what I'm saying is that nobody, like you said, nobody really knows what they're doing, so you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And you so, gotta be decisive. You get, that's the thing that you run into a lot of times with the directors where it doesn't work. You see, you, you gotta be decisive. You, you have gotta say, to be decisive uh, whether you're right or wrong. Doesn't matter. You have right, to be Right, because you're gonna decisive. get down to set the shark's not gonna work, and then you gotta make choices, right? Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta figure it out. You know, like you could be planning on seeing that shark a lot. Suddenly you're like, you know what? We're gonna have to make this where you don't see the shark a lot. And then that's a lucky thing because then suddenly you're like, this movie's better because I'm not seeing the shark as much as I'm supposed to see in the first place. So shut up about your dreams, Rob. I'm in the international arrivals terminal. So everybody's here. It's actually the one they shot um, Love Actually in. Um, so the, the you guys probably never seen Love Actually, but um, women will know that uh, this is the terminal they shot the arrival scene in. <laughs> Love the Actually. Three, the three of us shook our heads. <laughs> Yeah, Negatively. love, actually. <laughs> I mean, they may as well have titled that movie, Men, Don't Bother. <laughs> you know? And they didn't. They didn't. Love, Apparently actually. Not. Uh, love, actually. <laughs> don't be sarcastic with me, movie title. Uh, Fuck you. Yeah, um, it's love. Uh, actually, it's love. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. All right. Okay, so there you go. Okay. Um, the answer, the, the, what is that? What does that mean? Was the, was the question posed, um, are you with me for the sex? Or are you with me yeah, for something right, else, yeah. sweetie? Um, are you with me for my money? Uh, love, actually. <laughs> Yeah, Tony. yeah. Let's 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 talk. Okay. Let's let's, let's talk about love. a movie that we've never seen actually, and pontificate on why the movie is called. Why that. the title? I like that, I like that game. Good. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it could also be um, that it's like you thought you were in love with somebody, but then you meet somebody else, and you're like, actually, that's love. I didn't realize that until I met this person. This is love, actually. Mm. The mm -hmm. thing before was that's just most I thought yeah. it was. That's did I get too real? Did I did I did I not be funny and I actually nailed it? Meg, did I Could nail it? Is it be that, about is that kinda... someone who's incapable of feeling love and then suddenly like starts to feel it and like this is actually this the is emotion love actually. of love? It, it's, the, it's actually that. Yeah. What if what if the movie is about a guy named Phil actually? Phil actually. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then there's yeah. a there is Star Cross Lovers. There's a woman mm -hmm. named Jane. And Jane Love. she falls. She falls in love, <laughs> actually. Jane Love falls in love with Phil, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, this is great. This is really good stuff. All right, so, so we've good. got a sequel. Who's in, that, who's in that movie? Who's in that movie? Everyone, right? Isn't that uh, one of those? Yeah, lots, like lots 500 of people, people are in that movie. Yeah, because it's like yeah, six it's like... different stories. I, I prefer your version of it to the actual one, so I'm not going to tell you guys what happens in it because you should break you like our your version? own version. Yeah, I, I probably did see it and just don't remember seeing it. It sounds like a Hugh Grant movie. Was he in that? Is that a Hugh Grant joint? Yes. Hugh Grant was in it. Oh, he, for real? On, he man. was. Of, yep. of, mm -hmm. of course he was. What of are you kidding he me? he was. He was in love, actually. Um, I believe he played the prime minister in the movie. Of love. The prime, yeah, minister. prime minister. Ladies and gentlemen, the prime minister of love. Love, actually. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas okay. movie. The well. Prime Minister oh. of Kindness. Of love, actually. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the first line. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen to this cast for one second. Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, mm -hmm. Colin Firth, Laura Linney, Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kira Knightley, Martine McCutcheon, don't know, Bill Nye, Rowan Atkinson. I must see this movie. These are fantastic actors. We're missing out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it doesn't tickle my fancy. I saw yeah. the poster. I they're knew all great. those people. Were in it. I still didn't go see it. No, they're all great. They're, they're great. great actors. They're, they're great. great. They just need to do a, do a movie now. If the movie was called Guns, actually, I probably would have gone to see it. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, Fists, Fists, actually. You know, yeah, and it had that cast. Actually, I'd be, yeah. I'd be like, fuck yeah, man. What is that? Like, what is that shit? Like, yeah. Or Fist Action Lee, and it's about a guy named Lee and his fist action. Yeah, yeah, and all this is fist action. I'm seeing that for sure. As a fan of Glenn, I recognize, I can see in his camera that he is staying in a hotel room. There's a part of me that wants to know how many times today or since you got to the hotel room, have you masturbated? 
I want to know. Now, I want to know that as your friend. I want to know that as yeah. a fan of yours because I find it funny. Uh -huh. I'm picturing you landing and being like, I haven't been away from my family in like a year and a half. I'm going to mm -hmm. lock this door and I'm going to beat my dick like it owes me money. And I'm going to do it for mm -hmm. like a like a solid three hours. Yeah, I'm I like to strip to a couple. I'm gonna strip a, a, at least three or four layers of skin off this thing. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. Like, now, I'm, I'm, there's I'm gonna a... be people banging on his hotel wall, being like, "Are you okay in there? Is everything okay? <laughs> I hear a lot of screaming. So <laughs> Are you okay? Screaming. There's so much Wait. screaming. Yeah, Is there yeah. any voices? Is it, how many people are in there? It's just one. Yeah. It's just one, but I'm an actor. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I, I, I play all the characters. <laughs> I'm getting into character. I'm just, it's like an Eddie Murphy thing every time I masturbate, all right? I just just get into my character. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk right now. Not now. Don't talk to me now. Um, so I, I can understand the, the, the desire from a, a person out there in the world. Like I wouldn't, I think that would be amazing. If I'm listening to... Uh, smartless and I and 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 Jason were to go check himself into a hotel room and he started would start talking about that I would find it absolutely fascinating and probably hilarious but there's also mm. a weird connection because anybody that's alone or have been alone or away from people for the first time in a long time knows exactly what that feeling is like but we don't talk about it a lot in public because yeah. it's either base or private or whatever I get that too and I, I also understand why you wouldn't want to tweet that out to the world but yet I still well, I mean, love that's, to hear. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's why you built a whole separate little house for yourself, right? So that you could just have <laughs> right, that's, yeah, yeah. You call it. Maybe so why you were so sweaty in 18 minutes late. It's <laughs> right. Yes. It's this, was, this, look, this was not for sweat. Oh, no. <laughs> a, oh. For the listener at home, he's holding up a dark he's raccoon. Up a, oh, I thought it was a raccoon. <laughs> it's right, yeah, it's dry. It's Get dry. Get the pulse. It's dry. <laughs> Well, it's Megan almost now. threw up. I think Megan almost threw up. Yeah, there's been look, look. I spend a lot of time down here. I'm I'm a human being. Yeah, of course. From time to time, I find I time for myself. You have needs and a high uh, speed internet connection, and one thing leads to another, and. <laughs> you know, I wonder what percentage of our audience just masturbates to the podcast <laughs> oh you know there's oh, probably like no. like one one person right at least should we you give think? somebody should we give them something should we should we take our shirts <laughs> off do you guys remember that cable show in new york new york one like where it was like news during the day yeah and yeah. at night it was robin bird robin bird we talked about this didn't we on the podcast i don't think that? so i don't think we talked about robin bird um <laughs> so it was like softcore porn yeah yeah like, well, it was, yeah, I, I was a like, lot of like naked. She would have like strippers. She would have flaccid men. Yeah, it was it was both women and men, and they would be. Well, there was men for men. It was men for men, and then women for for whoever. Men for men. They would come and they would basically be. <laughs> it was all for men. It was all for men. It was men oh, for oh, men and women for men. Yeah, yeah, it was all for men. Men for men and women for men. Yeah, it was all for men. There was very little for women. And, and they would do like strip teases, or yeah. they would strip. Yeah, there would there wouldn't be any like fornication. No, but they would do strip. But they would strip no. naked, and then they then they would plug what strip club they were working at in the city. There was like a weird song on the Robin Bird show too. It was like right, ah uh, baby, baby, let, let me bang, bang your box, box. Wow. box. Wow. Baby, baby, let me bang your box. box. I've been banging since I was a little girl. Oh. I've been banging. I was, was a little girl. That's just that's it. Let me bang I've been banging box. since what I was a little mean, girl. Baby, let me bang your box. Don't know. Well, boxes. Well, your boxes. No, your but genitals. well, but the but she was singing it. She was singing it. She was about. Well, she was singing it about herself and saying that she's been banging since she was since a little day, girl. Since she was oh, a little man. girl. See that kind of. <sighs> That's upsetting. There was a dark. <laughs> but there was a to it. well. There was a darkness. Okay, to it, like, wait. Let me play the. Oh, let me play definitely. devil's advocate for a second. Okay. Is there also something to like? You know how that somebody is scantily clad. It's more attractive than someone who's just like completely naked. Do you see? Do you, do you do you feel that way sometimes? Wait, say, say say that again. Meaning like when I know there's a saying. little air of mystery I know where you're, you're like, I can see aspects of your nudity and your body mm. through your clothing, for example, is maybe more attractive than someone who's just like nude. Yes, I I, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I like I like a little mystery. Yeah, personally. Meg, like when you see a juicy dong hanging down somebody's <laughs> pant leg, is that better than seeing the dong itself? Yeah, I don't want to see any more than half of it. 
Right. Yeah, sure. But you don't yeah. mind seeing the top. Yeah, a little bush. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Glenn, we've established that you are the host of the show. Could you? What, yeah. what should we do next? Um, well, I, so so here, this is a little awkward, or maybe it isn't. I don't know. I, I always write notes on my phone when I watch the episode, right? Like if I have questions mm-hmm. I want to ask you guys or things I want to talk about or whatever. It looks like I'm just looking at my phone in the in the video. But, you know, just know, uh, listener, watcher, <laughs> watcher, you fucking creep, uh, that when I'm looking at my phone. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Just insult the <laughs> half the, the audience. Inside. Apparently, half the audience watches a podcast. Okay, and you've just called them all creeps. A lot of people watch, and I like that Glenn calls them creeps. And I think we should just call them the creeps. Well, when you call someone a watcher, it just sounds creepy. I'm not saying they're creeps. I'm just saying when you call someone a watcher, it sounds yeah. creepy. It, it's like call someone a listener. It's like yeah, yeah listener. You know? Right. But I, I I think maybe that's kind of fun that if the the audience on the uh, who's listening to this in on the drive to, to and fro work, mm-hmm. um, they're the listener. And anybody who's watching is a creep. By the oh, way, we, should go we did it. This yeah. is great. We definitely we did, it. did it. We right. did the fuck out of it. Yeah. And um, good luck editing this because <laughs> Jesus Christ. God bless. Play us out, Charlie. Play okay. us out something. Play us out something. That's a lot of pressure. We came to be funny. <laughs> But we search for the truth. We told some yarns. Got long in the tooth. But life's just that way. If you're lucky, that is. I guess I'm just foolish for living in bliss for I am happy I guess that makes me awfully sunny and that's why we're here For we are sunny, even though we seem blank. Sometimes it may appear But we are sunny Cause we're hopeful in a way and we're honest with each other and I guess that's just the way we appear. We are sunny in our way. And this will be what we're known for till our very last day. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Very good. Wow, I just got. Actually... <laughs> I don't know. I just got actually emotional about that. <laughs> That's the whiskey? That's yeah. the whiskey talking. <laughs> Wow, that just that just really got me. Yeah, that's what it's like being with him, <laughs> huh? That's what it's like being with him, you know. Being with him. I don't know what I said. <laughs> <laughs>